Moss, Moss, the game called Moss. We shall be playing the game called Moss. So like and subscribe, sit back and enjoy as I play the game called Moss. Hello and welcome to part three of my playthrough of Moss Book Two. If you've not seen the first parts yet, then what you're playing at, go and have a watch because this that content here and if you are new here please make sure you hit that subscribe button and you can hit the like as well because it really helps me out but that all done cool now let's get going going back to the castle there should be a door we can go through now oh we're up here don't actually need to kill stuff which is quite nice you can just let it be. Thinking of Adurin, Quill recalled an old rhyme from her school days. Don't trust a starling, but if you do, count the whiskers left on you? Oh, no, dear. that wasn't quite right. But the song warned a starling trickery. Not trickery. Leave me alone, just passing through. <laughs> Quill wasn't sure what to do. Trust the starving and see if this little adventure led to more glass? Or return to her uncle and let him know she failed to rally the sprites? Hmm. Dilemmas, eh? Adurin returned with that the light. That door there I'm interested in. I knew you would. Never a doubt. Come on, the hex is broken. You right. want more glass. I know just where to find it. Yeah, but are you trustworthy? Oh. Oh, we can get in. We can get in. <laughs> I missed the first one of these in, like, the treasure room. I think we get, like, little dress-up outfits for, for Quill. <laughs> right. Oh, look! Oh, it's got a little green top on. Oh, look at that. Little green quill. So, about the glass. Yes. Let me handle all this. She doesn't take kindly to strangers. Who doesn't? Or anyone, really. Better for me to set the stage. That's very no cold. Time to waste. I'll meet you on the mountainside. Quill stopped. Something didn't seem right. It was like the toad said. There was far more going on than she understood. Should be empty handed. But Quill knew she had to return to the chamber to talk with her uncle before yeah. going any Makes farther. sense, really, doesn't it? Uh oh. Music. <gasps> it's an owl. No! Get off me! Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off! Quill! Get off! Oh, you stole my glass. Oh no! Oh no! Will. Little buddy, come on. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. My uncle. Can I help you up? Oh, he's all limpy. Come 
strong quill. Oh, I'm a limpy quill. I'm so now. very sorry, Reader. What? We've never seen a bond as strong as the one between you and Quill. And seeing it broken breaks us all. What? But you're still here, Reader. And you're our last hope. With the Owl Tylen now in possession of Four Glass, there's only one left that evades him. Should he claim it, the world as we know it will end. Oh God. What do I do? The fate of Moss now lies in a tale that has turned quite cold to its readers. But it's here where the last glass resides. A different book. Long ago, a single creature held all oh, five glasses. And their reader became a god. You see, a reader with one glass can be a part of the story. But a reader with all five glass unlocks the means to rewrite the books of Moss. To author fate itself. Oh god. And this reader had hate in their heart. Twofold became torched. The poor creature's will lost to the reader's own. And the world of Moss suffered a great unmaking. But the good creatures of Moss united together, seized the glass, and cast its omnipotent reader from their world forever. That any mortal survived that time was nothing short of a miracle. As time passed, champions rose and fell. Peace, however fragile, didn't come until the truce. The glass was divided between five realms, each vowing never to combine it again. But stories retold tend to fade with age, and history too often repeats. Which brings us to the Owl Tylen, who thought himself wise beyond all the creatures of Moss. Forsaken by his own for this hubris, Tylen found kinship with another outcast, a meddling starthing named Adurin. <gasps> like all starthings, Adurin was immortal. But he loved the mess of mortality. How in their blink of life, mortals needed one another. So, anxious to impress his new friend, he helped Tylen steal his first glass from a realm grown complacent. So a jury in this naughty. Such an act was ruled a crime among the Starthing's own. With a punishment a Durin refused to accept, he was cursed to become that which he loved most. Mortal. And in one hundred years and a day, he would die his final death. Oh dear. Desperate, a Durin revealed to Tylen the power of the five glass combined. Adurin hoped his twofold friend could use it to undo his own damnation. Tylen hungered to hold such domain. And so they stole another. Then forged an army to steal it all. Then came the Cinder Knight. The night they would claim all five glass, but they failed. And enraged whispers befell Tylen's ears. A Durin sabotaged us several times with that cursed 
starving. Let him die. And the owl obeyed. Since then, Tylan has hexed and hunted every corner of Moss, and now only one glass eludes him. Lucky for us, the one who holds it hides herself well. But she vowed long ago never to answer the call of a reader. But we need your glass. We need it! Nothing made Sahima's weary blood boil more than the starving Adurin and his endless tricks. She tried to ignore him, but he kept rambling on about a twofold champion who'd killed the serpent Sarfog. I told you last time, if I saw you again, I'd kill you. Oh. That's a bit harsh. Ghost face? But where's the kid? It's got... It's, yeah. The Not glass again. had been taken. Fuck the humor. She'd been haunted by these monstrous readers her whole life. I'm not a monstrous reader. Why me? Why me? This wasn't the plan. Ghosties in the snow. Quills a no-show. But where'd the glass go? If that makes your glass the last, then I'll be right back. Oh dear. Good riddance thought Sahima as she watched the starving buzz off. But now she needed to shake this vile reader. <laughs> I am vile. I I'll admit that. I'll beat you. So I grab her. <laughs> See what happens. It's alright. It was no use. It's alright. There was no escaping it's this all right. one. You're not welcome here, reader. I work alone. Okay. Why is he getting darker? Chills spread down Sahima's spine. What's that? Pylon and the Arcane were tearing Moss apart. Oh dear. It reminded her of the Cinder Knight. Oh dear. Maybe worse. There would be no hiding. They'd be coming for her soon enough. She had to fight. Even if that meant playing into this reader's hands. Oh, I'm controlling her now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's a big thing, isn't it? I don't know what it does. Yeah, you, I, I get it. You, you need me to throw that over there. Oh, nice, nicely done. High five. No, you don't. You don't like me that much yet. Okay, <laughs> we won't high five then. It's fine. No, this in a day just fight. Keeps getting better. Sahima grumbled to herself. Oh my god. The arcane were closer than ever. She'd need to work fast. Okay, what do I need to do? I can get him. But I think we're good. I think we did it. Well done, thingy my bob. <laughs> thingy my bob. I don't know her name. Oh god. Yeah, I know. I know what I'm doing. We're throwing it over there. Then we're coming. Then we're coming back over here. Oh 
kablooey. Let's have a look at you. Let's have a look at you. You're pretty cute. You are quite cute. Zahima hated using this path. It was here where she promised her mother she'd protect the glass with her life and never let a reader tempt her. A vow she intended to keep. Little tunnel to go through, I guess. Hope we find Quill again soon. Not that I've got anything against this little rodent, but you know. Attached to Quill. Attached to Quill. Oh, look at the bunny rabbit. I didn't even see that then, and now I've fallen off because I was looking at the rabbit. <laughs> oh dear, what a silly sausage. There we go. That worked better. A bluey. Okay, what has that done? Okay, we need to be careful. Then again, I don't know. What? Is there a scroll over there? There is. We're going for the scroll. <laughs> We might leave that scroll. We'll see. Nice. Still very cold here. Oh, this is an arena if ever I've seen one. Give me that. Nice. Keep hold of that so I don't so I don't get loads of um bombs being thrown at me. So we'll just hold on to this bug. to it. I feel like I need to grab hold of this. There we go. Wrong. How do I get that one up there? There we go. We 
killed it with its own with its own weapons. Um, but now what? Do you know what? We could have gone up this way to kill it. <laughs> we could have just walked up here and then gone round and murdered it. <laughs> oh, there's a squirrel hiding in there. There we go. Oh. No. That is a big castle we're going to. Seems excessively big for mice. There seems to be a lot to do in here. Sahima was shocked to find the arcane hex on the castle door gone. Oh, no. Maybe this quill champion is leading a resistance, she thought. Sahima needed to find her and figure it out. Okay, what are we doing? Um. Oh, that's interesting. Don't know how that helps me. Oh, it does help me. So I can get over here. Can't really see what I'm doing. Oh, there we go, look. We got to the lever. Pull the lever, crunk. Wrong lever! Right, you. Yeah, I, I know. I think we need to blow this up. There we go. I didn't think I could hit that from there. It felt like I was too low. There was a door in it. What has that done? Okay, it's opened another door up. Kablooey. Boxes. Yeah, give me a sec, just gonna break these boxes. Quill sword is so much better, I can say. <laughs> oh, you psycho! <laughs> Oh man, I was left hanging by a mouse. Quill's down there. She's not though, is she? She's back in the throne room. There you are! A Durin sprung maniacally from the castle depths. Quill's down there. Somewhere. Follow me. Hmm. A Durin, I'm not sure I trust you. Great. Sahima grimaced at the sight of the starling. I should have expected to find you here. So what? I go down there and you buzz off and then all the real trouble comes? Get the message, bugger. No one wants you here. If I were you, I'd be nicer to me. Just find her already why Sahima hated to do anything close to what a Durin wanted for all I know this could be an elaborate trap set by that wretched starving do we just jump down there just think let's have a go the champion who slayed Sarfog was really in the castle depths 
Together, maybe they could fix all this. That's a no. We don't just jump down there. Ah, but we can go over there, though. Go in here, though. Oh, skull bugs. <laughs> that was like green stuff in that little pan over there. I guess we're in the kitchen. I like that she's got range with her attacks, but they are quite weak. I love how I can kill those ones myself. Surely that's it. Nice. Don't ask me to high five you though, I'm not gonna fall for that again. Oh, oh it's nice in here, isn't it? Oh, look at the, oh. Oh. <laughs> just water dripping. That's not going to hurt me, I don't think. I don't trust this here. See? <laughs> I knew not to trust that. But I can't do the dash. a mine cart over there that should be so cool <laughs> do you think we'll find a mine cart to go down in because that would be awesome <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> oh my god, I can't jump over there. Go. Take that, you. Ouch. Ow.
We did it. We did it, little buddy. <laughs> Just going to assume that needs to be down there. Yeah, hammer. All these nails we can hammer in as well. I don't know what these are for. I know. I know how to do it. There we go. Don't know what these are. Oh, tree roots. Suspicious cave here. Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> it's not that suspicious. Just a cave. Oh, <gasps> quill! Sahima heard something echo from the depths below. She inched her way to the edge to get a better look. Nice. We found Quill, everyone. Oh, what's happened to the church? After a jolting drop, Sahima was met by a blade. I'm a friend, she assured, offering her chakram. A friend would have thrown a rope. The stranger countered. From the wreck I've seen up there, you're better off down here. You're alone then? Sahima nodded as the stranger relented her blade, unable to see the towering reader. We defeated Sarfog and countless forged soldiers, but then... That owl! I lost everything. My best friend and my uncle Argus. Poor Quill. This was Quill? The champion Adurin had babbled on about? But she was so small and unassuming. <laughs> well, she's a mouse. Wait, you slayed Sarfog? Blurted Sahima, unconvinced. Yes, my reader and I did. A reader helped you. Sahima couldn't hold back. They don't belong in our world. Oh, yes, I do. She could feel the piercing energy from the reader as she spoke. Where I come from, we learn never to be tempted by the power of those monsters. I'm not a monster. I'm a nice reader. Monsters? No, we were twofold. Quill defended. They were big when I needed to be bigger. Strong when all was stacked against me. You're wrong about them, and we're wasting time. I've got to finish my uncle's plan! Sahima had never heard anyone speak of a reader in that way. As if they were one in the same. <laughs> the mushrooms. Like family. Wobbly mushrooms. Wobbly wobbly. <laughs> Sahima's curiosity was piqued. <gasps> Tell hammer. me then, what's this plan of yours? To end the arcane once and for all, said Quill with chilling intensity. As soon as I can climb out of here, I'll go straight to the foundry and crush the warden of the forged army. Big claims. Then I'll face that owl, avenge my uncle, and take back the glass he entrusted me to protect. Sahima felt stirred by young Quill's confidence. If she and the reader were truly twofold, then they were the only chance to save Moss from Tylen. And you plan to do this alone? Asked Sahima. Barnard may still be in the chamber beneath the throne, Quill revealed. Barnard the Unbreakable is alive? Sahima knew then what she had to do. Her burden could be their savior. You're gonna give me the glass? And as she threw Quill the winter glass, 
Sahima shared her mother's dying words. A reader's will over Moss falls solely on the one they've chosen, so don't mess this up. Oh. Are we going to go back to the Book of Moss 2 now? Now that we did that little Moss book. Oh, there's another book there. It says Moss on the side. Oh, it is. Another Moss book. But I think that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so, so much for making it to the end of the video. If you did enjoy yourself, please hit like. And if you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you leave a comment, it really, really helps. And if you can't think of anything to write, just put waffle. Because I like waffles. But until next time, I've been El Gran Queso. And remember, be nice to people. Bye.